Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. Do you use Google Workspace? You now have AppSheet licenses at the core level included for Google Workspace users. Do you use Smartsheet as well? If you do, you're in for a real treat. AppSheet easily integrates with Smartsheet as well as Google Sheets and select other data sources you may already use. You can use AppSheet to solve common pain points in Smartsheet. The pain point I will demonstrate here is the ability to edit rows with a form and utilize dynamic cascading dropdowns based on the selection of other dropdowns in the form. Now, I created a demonstration app that allows a user to create new leads and enter in the lead name and then the country then the state in the city. The estimated deal amount can then be entered. This new lead will be stored in a sheet within Smartsheet. Now you can see that AppSheet can be used to enforce required fields. If I save that, it does not let me save it because it is blank and this error message can be customized. I'll go back, put that name in. And notice here for the estimated deal amount, it says in US dollars. Now let me change to a different country and that will change to euros. Australia will be Australian dollars. And so these are all driven by the data sources that the app is connected to. Now let me demonstrate again real quick what if I pick a different state, say Alabama, I get a different list of cities. If I go back to Arizona, I can now find an Arizona city. I'll go ahead, I'll save this. So here in the app is a list. Here's the list of leads and you can see I've only entered one here. I'll go to the sheet and smart sheet that is storing this information and you can see here's all the data I entered. I also have some other information here as well that's used in the app. Now I can edit this row information through AppSheet as well. If I were to click on this row, I can choose edit and you can see I can edit any information, which is nice being able to use a form view versus say an update request where you can't enforce required fields. If this became more advanced, we could add other fields in here. I think you can see the real power of this. I also have location data uh, tied to the city and the data sources. So when you choose a city, it, sh it generates a little pin on the map here. And in fact, I also have a map view for all the leads. I only have one right now here in, in Phoenix, but I'll go ahead, I'll add another one in. We'll do Australia. I'll save that. So now I have the leads grouped by country and you could choose to group in a different manner. I just chose country for this example. Now if I go to the map, it now shows my leads here in Arizona and one down in Australia. I click on that, brings up the information about it. And because this is overlaid with Google Map, using us on the mobile device, you could click to get the driving direction as well. So now I'll take a look at the data sources. So in Smartsheet, I have this data source, countries. I have them filtered currently by this checkbox that says which countries have offices. And that is what drives that list of countries in the app. If I take that filter off, you'll see a whole list of countries. If I want to add or subtract a country, I can simply check a box and uh, resync the app. Let's say this here. Go back to leads. I'm going to refresh this. You can see I added some nice branding to the app as well. So now if I go add, if I look at country, we now have Afghanistan. And similarly, if we want to remove one, we just we can update it here in the data source. 
resync. And now we're back to the original list. Now for states and provinces, this is another sheet in Smartsheet. For the cities, um, it's actually in Google Sheet. So I wanted to demonstrate that you can connect the app to multiple data sources. So I'm pulling data from Smartsheet as well as Google Sheet. And the reason I have the cities in Google Sheet is it is much larger than the uh, cell limit of 500,000 allowed in Smartsheet. So it is residing in Google Sheets instead. And here is the latitude and longitude data that allows those pins to be displayed on the map. In this demonstration app, I'm the only user, so I can see all the leads. But if you wish, you can uh, tailor these views and the data that a user can access to each particular user. You can tailor their permissions, whether they can uh, delete data or edit data. And uh, they do not need uh, access to the underlying data sources either. So if you're the app creator, you can have access to these data sources, but you do not need to share those data sources with the users if they don't need them. I hope this gives you uh, some ideas of how you could use AppSheet and Smartsheet. This was a very simple demonstration. It could get a lot more complex, but at least you have a brief little overview of just a small sliver of the features. Um, I did not cover any of the workflow that uh, AppSheet supports. AppSheet can send out email notifications, text messages, uh, push notifications. So those are um, some other items where you can you know, leverage AppSheet. You can also use AppSheet to uh, generate PDFs or other documents. There's a, a lot of functionality you can really unlock by connecting uh, Smartsheet and AppSheet together. For some additional resources, I've created a page on my website, smartsheetguru.com slash smart apps. You can learn more about it there. And if you need any help with connecting Smartsheet and AppSheet, Go ahead, reach out to me. I offer uh, not only services to create apps, but also I can coach you how to do that as well. So you can learn how to do it yourself. All right, thanks for watching.